वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द सेकेंड वीडियो ऑफ द वीडियो सीरीज फॉर एन सर्ट आई होप यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग वेल इन दिस वीडियो वी वुड बी डिस्कसिंग स्पेसिफिक आस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ द फर्स्ट सेक्शन ऑफ द एग्जाम दैट वुड बी लॉजिकल रीजनिंग डेटा इंटरप्रिटेशन फर्स्ट एंड एलगोरेथमिक थिंकिंग विच आर पार्ट ऑफ द जनरल एप्टीट्यूड सेक्शन ओके सो टूडेज वीडियो वुड बी फोकस्ड इन दैट Uh, the video is divided into three parts. First, we'll be having a broad overview of the section. Then we will be solving a few question of logical reasoning, and then we will be solving a few question of algorithmic thinking or computational thinking. Okay, so that will be agenda of the video. Following up on the previous discussion we had, like why do we test this section or why do we need to have these skills? So we'll start with that. The uh, fundamental idea here is that. students who want to build a career in software development in artificial intelligence or in tech entrepreneurship they need to have good broader general intelligence skills and this section test them so like how do we define that so imagine if some real world example scenario is given real world example is given are you able to create structure out of that example are you able to create parameters out of that example and then based on that structure those parameters can you understand how the structure is working how the framework is working what are the cause effect relationship what are the reasoning and based on that are you able to derive any insights from that structure so that is the skill that we are looking at here and that is what what we are going to test in this section all the questions in this section would be oriented to test this particular skill all right now uh, this section is divided like the broader general aptitude section is divided into two sub sections the first section is logical reasoning and data interpretation and the second section is uh, computational thinking but okay, i'll start first with logical reasoning and data in the interpretation section okay so here as i mentioned there would be some real world scenario and some data would be given so like what kind of data can be there so data can be in form of a normal table or a pie chart or a bar graph or a let's say venn diagram that we studied earlier in the class 11 or it can be some like other real world scenario let's say if 10 people are sitting on a dinner table like what is their arrangement or let's say if you start from a specific point and you are given a set of direction move forward turn right turn left and then there, there is also a direction sense that okay this direction is not where are you reaching based on that or it might be something like let's say family relations are given like he is the uh, father and he like she is her sister like their that is and her mother in law based on this like who are these two people how are they related just so that you are like we want to test here and like are you able to think abstractly and create structure out of these real world problem and last real world problem is of course encryption decryption it is a very famous type of puzzle so you might have also done questions on this let's say you are given uh, apple so we know that let's say a is the first character so we represent a by number 1 uh like then we say that okay number e is represented by pi similarly we represent p and l also so we translate i a p p l e into a set of numbers we give that number to someone else and that person translates those numbers back into the character so this is the kind of encryption decryption question that we would be having and so that is about logical reasoning and data analysis section right uh then the other section is computational thinking so in here uh, the reason for this is because computational thinking is a way or a paradigm of thinking that is how you think and it is very critically it is very critical to develop this uh, paradigm for this program as well as your future career in btech so now here what kind of questions are there uh the like the overall computational thinking is very sim simple like there is a series of instructions and there is an outcome that if you follow this instructions we would get some particular outcome so for example if you start from delhi and go towards south direction for let's say few like 1000 or 2 2000 kilometers you would reach bangalore broadly so that like so here what are the instructions that hey start point is delhi we are going south and we are going for let's say 1500 kilometers further so then we are reaching bangalore so there are these are the instructions that we are following and the outcome is that we are reaching bangalore so that is the idea here that that is, this is a set of instruction and this is an outcome so now what kind of questions can be built from this so either outcome would be given or instructions would be given and you have to predict the other thing so let's say if a specific set of instruction are given you would be asked okay what is the outcome that would lead from like if you follow these instruction what would be the outcome or the other way if this is the specific outcome we are looking for what are the instructions that we need to follow okay 
So that is the broad overview of this section. Uh, as we already know, like there would be 20 questions from logical reasoning and data analysis and 10 questions from computational thinking. Okay. All right. So we have discussed broadly what the overall structure of this, this section is, what kind of topics are covered. Now let us try to do a few questions in this section. So we'll start with the question of logical reasoning. So here the question is given, there are six students who have just finished their exams and they are sitting in the library gossiping over random things. So these students are Vishwa, Harveen, Aniket, Rutvik, Rabhavi and Nishan. So these are the six students that we are given. Uh, then uh, they are trying to guess what is their most liked food item or most disliked food item and our role here is to determine who loves or hate what based on the given hints below. All right? So uh, these are the six students and then they are like so everyone hates one item, everyone loves one item. right? So that is the structure we have based on this given information. Now let us uh, pick up each constraint and few that is given. The first constraint is that three people love pizza. Okay. So now we can't put it anywhere, so just we'll keep it everything, we'll come back to this. Then we are given that Vaibhavi and Nishant either love or hate biryani. Okay. So for Vaibhavi and Nishant, we'll just uh, add it here, maybe in remarks or any other column, that if biryani is either in love or hate column, we don't know for now, so we'll just write it here in biryani. Okay. Uh, then only one member hates pasta. Okay. So somewhere in hate column, there will be pasta, we are not sure where. Uh, then it is given Vishwa hints about two food items, pizza and burger, but doesn't specify which one he likes and which one he eats. Okay. So again, uh, this also we are not sure where it would come. We'll just put it in the third column, pizza and burger. We'll come back to this also. Then it is given Nishan loves paratha while Ruthwick hates pizza. So this is very clear. So in Nishan's row, we'll, in the love section, we'll put paratha, and in Ruthwick's row, in hate section, let us put pizza. Uh, then it is given Aniket and Vaibhavi hate Paratha. Okay. So again, this is also very direct. So in Aniket's row, we'll, uh, in the hate column, we'll add Paratha. In Vaibhavi's row, also in hate column, we'll uh, add Paratha. So now this uh, unlocks the initial clue that Vaibhavi and Nishant either love or hate biryani. So now, since one of the choices are given, so now we can fill in biryani. So now we are close, like for Vaibhavi and Nishan, we are very clear what they like love and hate for uh, yes that is the starting point. Additionally, we also know that uh, for Vishwa, pasta wouldn't come in either of the column. Okay, and for Aniket, we know that paratha is already added added in the hate column, and for Ruthri, pizza is already added in the hate column, right? Now, the only person for whom we don't know the hate column is Harleen. So, for and we know that only one member hates pasta, so Harleen would be the one who hates pasta. So, for hate column, we know exactly what five people hate. For Vishwa, it would be either pizza or burger, right? So, that is the information we currently have. Uh, now, the tricky part is for four people, we don't know what they love, and out of four, we know that three people love pizza. Yes, so now for these, like we don't know which three people love pizza, right? Let us try to just check all the conditions again if we have missed something. So here, Vaibhavi and Nishant either love or hate biryani. This condition we have completely observed, so we can remove this. Only one member hates pasta, this also is checked, so we can remove this. Vishwa hints about two food items, pizza and burger. So yes, it, uh, like Vishwa can have pizza here also or there also, that doesn't help. Nishant loves paratha while Ruthwick hates pizza. Now this is interesting, Ruthwick hates pizza, so in Ruthwick's love column, pizza cannot be there. So now we can say that for other three folks, pizza would be in the love column. And for Ruthwick, we are still not able to determine what he loves. And since for Vishwa, pizza is in love column, so burger would come in the hate column, right? So I think that sums up the entire table. Now we are able to give structure to this problem. That hey, who, like we are able to derive who, who hates what, who loves what based on these uh, hints. Now let us try to solve the questions based on this example. So the first question is what does Vishwa love? So as we can clearly see, Vishwa loves pizza. So option two is correct. Uh, then coming to question two, for which member you, are you unable to determine the loved food item? So that is also very clear. For Ruthvi, we are not able to determine what food item he loves. So that is with the question of logic and data interpretation. And you can expect similar kind of question in this section in the actual insight exam also. Uh, other types of question can be, there might be some data that can be given. Like let's say there might be some graph about let's say how the GDP is growing or uh, let's say how sales is moving or how like a graph about how the average marks of students across batches. 
so some other data can be given and you should be able to absorb that data also so that is something that you can look out for otherwise like real world questions or real world scenario based questions will be something similar to what we did in this video all right